Hey, this is Tool Man. Today I'm very keen to show you the TMM30 version 2 receipt printer. So the good thing about this one is that it's both Bluetooth and network LAN compatible. And it's been approved for use in both Lightspeed and Shopify POS, amongst other cloud-based POS systems. So let's get the box open and we'll have a look at what's going on inside here. Got a cardboard, book, power cord, a small paper roll to get you started, a little adaptery thing, here we have wall mount brackets. of those. Very cool. I'm using those for now. Inside we have the actual printer. Uh, so it's quite a small printer footprint wise compared to something like the STARS um, TSP 100s and they've been used for a long time for this sort of application so yeah very compact printer. It feels alright. Looks like this back panel here comes off. So you can get at the connectors. Oh, and the bottom panel. And you can get at the connectors inside there for that looks like a, could be a Bluetooth sensor that's for the power adapter We've got a network connection here and a USB so you've got all your bases covered with this one let me just have a look in the box you'll find the power adapter Okay, let's get some paper on it. So to do that, we lift this lever up here and then lift the printer lid up like that. Drop the paper in. Make sure it's coming out of this way. So the get this to the front there. Push that down hard. And then you can tear that bit of paper off. Now you can plug the power in. So in the back here, the power adapter's got this round connector I'm going to do the flat bit to the bottom there and give that a good push in so it clips in there that's your power button in the top corner there just hold down the feed button and turn the power on and that'll make it do its little resetty thing press the feed button again and that's the printer all reset Hopefully ready to go. Let's get an iPad and see if we can connect it. Okay, now we've got our iPad sitting next to our printer. Next thing we need to do is plug our cash drawer in. So if you turn the printer upside down, get your cash drawer plug, which looks like a phone plug, and it goes into that port right there. You'll feel it give a little click there so that it's pushed in right. That's the only other cable we need because we're going to connect to the iPad with Bluetooth. So we just leave that there. On the iPad we go into settings. Click on Bluetooth over here in the settings. And you should see it come up there automatically. You don't have to press any buttons on the printer or do anything like that. If it's a Bluetooth version it's automatically in pairing mode. And you should see it pop up here on your screen, TMM30II, and then some numbers after it. We're just going to click on that. And hopefully it will connect and show as connected. 
and we get this Bluetooth light shows up here on the printer. Now we're going to connect this to Shopify Pause. So the first thing we're going to do is go into your settings, go into your Bluetooth and just double check that the printer is connected in your iPad settings. You can click on the home button, open your Shopify Pause app and you'll probably end up in this home screen here. So then you want to get into settings, you click the hamburgers down the bottom, go into settings and then go into manage connected hardware. Not set up hardware, we've already got it connected so I find have a look and manage connected hardware first. If it's not there, then you can try set up hardware. So we'll go manage connected hardware and you'll see sure enough there's our TMM30 version 2. It's already got the green connected. We're just going to click on it anyway and have a look in here. The device name, you can change that if you want, just call it receipt or whatever, but we'll just leave it as it is. And then you can do a test receipt. So we'll print the test receipt. And there you can see test receipts printed out there fine. And we'll test the cash drawer as well. So if we scroll up a little bit here, you'll see there's actually a cash drawer test here. Open cash drawer. And our cash drawer opens and smashes into the camera stand. Nice. So that's all working now for Shopify Pause. We can just double check that by going back out of here back into our hamburger and go to our home screen and then we're going to sell something we'll just do 10 cents and call it a test save that we'll go check out cash and they gave us a dollar and there we go, cash drawer opens automatically and if we wanted to we can press the print receipt button there and that will print out a wee receipt for our 10 cent sale. Cool, any questions just get in touch with us here at Toolman. Thank you.